construction skill, uh, their, their uh, let's say, uh, and, and there was, uh, let's say, beginning of the last century, we knew, and there were existing still uh, over uh, 20 uh, dip different types of uh, wooden churches, uh, which is uh, based on using of uh, uh, horizontal log technology and techniques, and uh, we can still today enjoy uh, interiors like like this, uh, with uh, based on on, on pure uh, wooden surfaces and uh, very uh, modest uh, but uh, very rich architectural rich uh, interiors too. Petajavesi Church is uh, one of uh, the most famous churches from uh, 18th century, uh, built uh, by by very skillful carpenters who actually. Uh, learned his skill, skills uh, uh, making making ships first and and boats and and it's and that's why very interesting combination combination of uh, of, uh, of both technology and uh, technology use in, in in churches and just a typical uh, uh, city uh, plan of uh, wooden city from 17th or or 18th century to Ostra Bosnia House is uh, we, uh, Finland is located between uh, Sweden and, and Russian, and uh, it is a part of our, let's say, official uh, history of architecture. We know that uh, today that uh, Finland and Finnish architecture is strongly uh, influenced by Russian, by 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 Swedish architecture, and also architecture which came uh, to Finland from from continent. I have. Uh, I was born myself uh, uh, in a building like uh, like uh, like this uh, on the uh, left hand side, uh, uh, an old uh, farmer house, which is a good example of uh, combination of uh, uh, classical architecture and architecture uh, well known uh, uh, on the countryside. So uh, as well, wooden capula, which is uh, uh, a suburb, very first suburb area in Helsinki and built totally in uh, uh, timber technology uh, and in, in wood. And uh, one of the first, uh, actually this is the first uh, uh, example when uh, prefabrication was uh, in use to erect wooden buildings and, uh, and uh, during uh, 20s and uh, can be seen uh, as a, an example of uh, so-called uh, Scandinavian classicism too, coming from uh, mot many motives comes from uh, from Sweden, from uh, from from Norway also. Of course, we cannot avoid to uh, rise out this uh, great uh, figures Alto plus uh, our composer San Sibelius uh, plus. Uh, uh, if we look at uh, the reputation or uh, the history of uh, Finnish uh, architecture and design uh, during the modern era, uh, we can talk about so-called uh, uh, cold and decan, uh, I mean 50s and uh, Tapio Virkala, uh, beside Alvar Aalto, I'd like to mention his name especially. He was a uh, really interesting person and is still today too. Uh, this uh, great exhibition was uh, was uh, erected in uh, in Helsinki, actually in Espo, for a couple of months ago, and uh, just uh, uh, show how uh, Tapio Virkala made really great design without tools we can use today. I mean computers only. He was uh, he was an artist uh, uh, who had. Uh, let's say, uh, thinking hands, and uh, he was, uh, he had, had a skillful assistant that uh, designed himself personally, mostly all of these uh, beautiful uh, artifacts and uh, artistical objects. Kaja uh, and Hekki Siren's chapel, forest chapel, is a uh, kind of uh, uh, icon of Finnish uh, modern architecture and work uh, as a good example uh, of uh, what we can do in, in wood in, uh, uh, in, in 
Finland today. Um, we meet very often, um, and if we look at uh, today Finnish architecture, uh, uh, I think uh, just uh, how to use wood, what is uh, uh, timber architecture today, uh, this is uh, um, a kind of strong side of uh, our architecture today. Although this uh, tradition has been broken for a long time, uh, one reason is uh, uh, our history after the Second World War, because uh, all of our, our, let's say, the people have moved from the countryside to the bigger cities, and uh, 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 cities are today uh, surrounded by um, concrete blocks and suburb areas made, uh, made in concrete. Uh, this is uh, one explanation uh, which uh, explains that uh, uh, wooden architecture and uh, timber architecture is uh, quite strongly regulated and our um, national building code uh, doesn't actually know quite well uh, wood and its, uh, its, its behavior. Now, uh, many regulations have been changed after, uh, after the beginning of, of 90s. Uh, there has been a quite strong process uh, uh, made by uh, some uh, institutions, uh, by by universities, and also supporting by um, by uh, private money, by 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 uh, forest uh, industry partially to develop uh, uh, wooden technology. Uh, wooden this uh, very uh, very small chapel was uh, was uh, built uh, in all between 01, uh, 06, something like, like this. Actually based on, uh, mm, uh, on uh, a competition, uh, a competition arranged in our, our, uh, in our university for, for students of architecture and uh, uh, student Ansi Lassila won this competition. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, the Paris of Kersamäki was uh, actually the client, and uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's it was based actually the work itself of, on on voluntary work, and and so uh, everything here is uh, is not not every details, but uh, mostly this building is uh, uh, was uh, erected uh, uh, using nails or also only only using very old traditional technology. Um, this uh, uh, small chapel located in, uh, in, in close to Turku, uh, where we are operating here now, and design um, is made by Matti and Pirjo Sanaksenaho. Uh, uh, this uh, has been, uh, and this project has been very uh, long-lasting one too. Uh, I remember the competition was held already the beginning of the 90s, but uh, it was completed uh, ten, 10 years after. And uh, it's uh, a good, good example how sometimes a uh, very long process means that uh, uh, the design is more, um, became actually more and more pure, and uh, it's a really icon-like space today of our modern architecture. Uh, the whole building is uh, made totally in wood and uh, in, in uh, uh, laminated wood and uh, then uh, facades and, and a roof is, is, is covered in copper. Uh, also this small, um, uh, um, let's say, observation tower which uh, was built in Helsinki in, in, in Korkiasari. We will see this building of, of course too during our our uh, our trip uh, around Helsinki area, um, and there is uh, there is uh, now I forget the name of, of the architect, but Avanto uh, Architects is uh, the name of the company. Uh, it's a result of uh, uh, a wooden studio uh, of uh, the University of uh, Technology in Helsinki, which uh, name actually is today is uh, Aalto University. And uh, I have said uh, often that uh, this is, uh, in my opinion, perhaps uh, absolutely one of the most uh, important building uh, in Finland built uh, for the 
accounts for, let's say, at least uh, since, uh, since 80s. Uh, it's uh, quite uh, nice to compare with uh, uh, some uh, very uh, recent works uh, uh, like, uh, like uh, uh, the uh, building uh, which is located in Japan and made by Herzog de Meron where, where actually, technically, uh, the idea is very, very similar. Uh, the facade based on on, or, or, or it based on the idea that the facade has uh, a clear bearing role in this uh, 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 structural system, and uh, and uh, it's uh, Marcus has perhaps uh, shown uh, some details how to uh, how how they have uh, produced this uh, and uh, installed this uh, structure, but uh, it based on very very simple technology in this sense that it uh, creates uh, only. Uh, a kind of theory net system, the facade itself. I think uh, I will, uh, I, I can show only some pictures of, of this work, uh, uh, which was uh, built, I am moving to give, yeah. So, but the wooden, wooden technology and just uh, uh, different uh, smaller and bigger wooden projects uh, are perhaps uh, most uh, interesting area and, and part of our contemporary architecture in Finland today. And uh, I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it really uh, offers uh, us uh, very rich uh, news and uh, good uh, opportunities to, to lift up the face of Finnish contemporary architecture. Uh, yeah, I am going uh, to give a presentation of uh, some of uh, our works uh, uh, in, in Finland, uh, especially. Uh, uh, and this relates uh, to, the, uh, to some of previous uh, slides in this sense that uh, this building was um, completed al already in 1994 and uh, the competition was arranged at the beginning of, of 90s or, or, or something, 1991. And uh, uh, the user of uh, this building is uh, uh, the association of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the Finnish Forest Museum, uh, name is Forest Museum Information Center, which, uh, which uh, meant also that uh, uh, we tried to do the building totally in wood, but in the competition brief and in the competition program, uh, there, were, there were only some sentences of, uh, of uh, using of wood and a kind of hope that if possible, please uh, competitors use uh, wood as much as possible. So at that time, uh, a wooden architecture was really uh, strongly uh, regulated and, and limited also in Finland. Uh, uh, we made actually this competition entry like uh, like uh, like uh, whatever building uh, we didn't think what, how to do it in, in wood or, 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 or how, how to use uh, wooden materials. We focused uh, rather on uh, the idea idea on on the concept of the building, uh, which was at that time quite uh, quite a radical one in Finland. Uh, uh, it uh, was based on uh, a circle form, basic shape, where uh, which uh, actually part houses all the exhibition areas, and then there were uh, plus uh, in additional some additional components, rectangular components. Uh, but uh, uh, ideologically, there was uh, a kind of uh, kick of idea actually behind the design to create a circle form building because uh, it looked like uh, a wooden uh, frame or, or an, uh, and also uh, the name which Finnish, uh, it's a Finnish word which name is lusto which means uh, an annual wooden ring. It describes, uh, uh, it's, it, it was a wine a uh, kind of, uh, let's say, metaphor of, uh, of, of wood and, and so. So in this sense, it was uh, something uh, important in, in this, this competition. And uh, the competition jury was really, really uh, positive for, for, for the shape of the building, actually, not uh, how to use wood. It was, uh, it hasn't any, uh, let's say, uh, 
major role in, uh, in evaluation of, of the competition entry. Afterwards, then when we started to do the final design and we started to work, uh, prepare uh, building permit uh, material, et cetera, we started to, to study more exactly uh, how to use, how to, to erect the building, what kind of materials we will use, it, et cetera. Uh, and uh, also this is uh, a good example of Finnish, uh, I think, modern architecture and uh, uh, of contemporary architecture because the building is uh, standing uh, relatively alone in the middle of, not in the middle of nowhere, but however in the middle of Finnish nature uh, on the lake area of Saima. Uh, I think uh, this is still today the strongest side in Finnish architecture, so uh, Alvar Aalto also made his best works uh, not in, uh, in, in the cities, but uh, uh, rather on the countryside or in, in the forest. Yeah, looking from the side of, uh, uh, of, of the lake, Lake Saima. And uh, already in this uh, um, project can be seen uh, some patterns we have used in uh, afterwards in uh, many other works, um, especially in uh, museums and uh, uh, exhibition buildings as well uh, as in, uh, in public buildings. So we try to create a kind of uh, prolonged ceremonial route to the building and uh, it's because it's really uh, important that uh, you can uh, somehow warm up the visitors before they meet the main entrance and, and so we try to create a con kind of uh, a feeling or atmosphere of uh, smaller vivids and uh, with the help of these, uh, uh, let's say, additional elements, outdoor uh, exhibition uh, uh, stands and, and many other components here. Um, yeah, the building is... Uh, covered less or more in, uh, in, in, uh, in wood, of course, but uh, on the background there can be seen also uh, concrete. Actually, the frame itself is made in concrete, uh, it, uh, the structure itself. And uh, it was really demanding task to us. We were quite young at the time too, and uh, to, to try to follow our fire regulations which were really strong at that time. and. Uh, for instance, uh, in the background there, there are small pieces of, uh, uh, of concrete. Uh, that's why they are standing just exactly over there, because uh, they are located um, uh, in the, on the border of two uh, fire divisions, and, uh, and they have the role to, to cut the fire in, uh, in if, uh, if uh, this kind of accident meet. Uh, Interior was, uh, this was, uh, this is actually a picture from uh, the first uh, permanent exhibition. Uh, we made also partially the, the exhibition or, or planned it and uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, there were different uh, boats and, uh, and chairs, Alvaro Aldo's uh, bigger chair, etc. Uh, uh, but, uh, but however, this was uh, kind of uh, very first uh, mm, uh, attempt in Finland for a long time to, to, to create something new using, using wood. And uh, this uh, was, uh, I mean, the competition of this building, a kind of uh, uh, starting point uh, to, to really to, to begin to develop uh, our regulation system in Finland that uh, wooden buildings, public wooden buildings could be possible in Finland in the future. Um, at the same time, uh, actually, uh, yeah, this is uh, also um, we made beside, uh, beside the Lusta project, uh, we uh, were invited also uh, 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 to build, to erect uh, and represent Finland uh, in Milan, Milan Triennale in 1996. And uh, actually, we made there and designed there a um, small uh, kind of uh, exhibition installation which uh, was made in, uh, uh, in plywood and in uh, uh, recycled paper mass which is uh, the great part of this installation and uh, it houses uh, our now here uh, our uh, pro 
projects uh, at that time. It was a very interesting experience. Uh, there was uh, just uh, on the back side of this uh, uh, picture, there was uh, uh, an installation uh, uh, designed by, uh, by um, Pen van Berkel and uh, then uh, uh, there was uh, uh, Pianos, uh, pavilion, etc., and uh, I think uh, this was all of them uh, trained already at that time uh, uh, with uh, three forms, and we we continued this kind of let's say more traditional Scandinavian line, and we trust on uh, matter, trusted on materials, the sense atmosphere of of materials, and uh, just especially the wood. Uh, technology which was, uh, 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 we tried to develop, uh, especially for this structure, this gray one, this, uh, the, the wall which is made, so I, I, I mentioned in, in recycled paper mass, uh, is now uh, uh, under, not, not yet, but it is com coming under, under, under patent. My, my ex-partner, uh, uh, Mikko Kaira, is, uh, is uh, developing today this, this material together with some other companies. And uh, it was quite nice material, uh, easy to, to cut and uh, uh, had a very good acoustical, uh, acoustical uh, acoustically very well working too, not quite, uh, quite light too. Okay, but uh, yeah, this was, uh, and uh, also the history of this uh, installation uh, was the fact that uh, we made a very, very similar uh, assignment uh, in uh, uh, our school of architecture when we started to our our started our uh, 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 studies, a kind of uh, study of uh, of space, and uh, it was nice nice to continue that line. Beside uh, uh, Lusto, there was also a very long-lasting project. We, uh, this name is Fogat Center in, in Kaustinen in, uh, in uh, the uh, western part of Finland. Kaustinen is, uh, um, is uh, an interesting uh, village many way, uh, ways. It is best known for its uh, annual uh, uh, folk music festival. And uh, it means that uh, it ac attracts every every. July, about 80,000 people to this very small, small village. Uh, now, what's, uh, what, what we can learn uh, of this work is uh, this was uh, really long-lasting. It took uh, seven years to get there to from from the competition till uh, till the competition. Uh, you can see here in the map the structure of the city, which is uh, quite typical. Uh, Finnish small village on the countryside with uh, small wooden houses. There is uh, there is a uh, uh, wooden church, sure, and partially the city is uh, destroyed, as many cities in Finland generally. But however, we try to maintain a kind of uh, small scale uh, and uh, uh, to adapt just this quite big uh, public building to this environment, uh, quite small environment. And uh, this explains uh, how we came to the solution, which can be seen now here. The important part is that uh, the most important and let's say the core uh, space, the big auditorium of uh, this house is located uh, inside the rocky and uh, only uh, some wings of this whole program are visible then above the rock uh, uh, and, uh, and the sloping rock, uh, which uh, actually they house uh, some uh, classrooms and uh, some facilities for, for students generally. And there are, of course, some public, some spaces for, for, for the visitors, but uh, uh, the main hall, main auditorium is, is located uh, just uh, at the end of. Uh, uh, of uh, of these uh, these uh, wings actually. Now we can see there are some some all some fixtures. It was uh, quite uh, uh, interesting uh, project uh, in terms of how to use wood and wood also because uh, it was supported by uh, by um, by industry. I mean the project itself uh, to study 
and it was uh, it was uh, a kind of uh, uh, research of uh, how to use wood generally partially the frame of this building is made in in, in wood some uh, uh, two of these boxes based on uh, on wood on wooden frame too and uh, okay some some images of uh, of interiors the main main lobby also here the people can enter really prolonged way the building and there are bridges as we have used many many cases in our our projects before the people enter and find the find uh, the, mm, the so called VIP space uh, acoustically uh, this uh, uh, auditorium actually work very well uh, and uh, many records have been done in, in this auditorium there are only only some uh, some wooden components uh, uh, as a ceiling there are uh, there are some wooden beams and uh, above them there are some observation uh, ladders uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 and some, some techniques only uh, uh, but, uh, but uh, in, in, in principle this uh, the idea based on, on, on using this whole uh, rocky cave uh, as, as an instrument of, uh, of music uh, all of these uh, surfaces uh, we used uh, uh, P wax actually and uh, they it means that uh, this maintain the originality of uh, wood and uh, very original tone of, uh, of, of spruce which is uh, the wooden material used in all over uh, the building here this ceremonial route uh, is uh, is running alongside uh, the whole, whole whole building and uh, you can see here from the top of the hill uh, the whole village and uh, behind you where, where we have taken these photographs there is also uh, an old uh, uh, dancing uh, uh, hall and uh, structure of uh, ski jumpers so it's it's a, a kind of uh, classical let's say uh, cultural root of of this this village this was uh, this was opposite or negative uh, we i i remember very well uh, some uh, still today some patterns of uh, um, and uh, principles of the design of this building uh, uh, mostly uh, all the facades have been divided in uh, in uh, holden section and uh, uh, for instance we had a, a kind of uh, modular system and uh, it was uh, quite uh, interesting to try to uh, create at the same time totally uh, free composition and uh, at the same time try to main some patterns and rules of classical architecture and uh, these uh, just proportions in facets are in this sense very very important uh, I go very quickly through this uh, process here because uh, I was why I will show this uh, only is the fact that we don't prefer not only wood in, in, in buildings in, in, in Finland uh, and I think that this uh, example uh, represents quite well also generally what is going on in Finnish architecture um, and, uh, and just uh, technically and, uh, and uh, look at some, some details some principles of architecture food safety authority uh, it's the name of that building and it is it was built uh, and completed 06 and the area is uh, a Viki area which is actually the new um, area of uh, uh, of Helsinki University uh, there are uh, in you there or there is in use um, a kind of uh, 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 green uh, card or green rule which means that uh, every building every every also this one uh, must have some principles of uh, 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 of uh, uh, let's say of ecological uh, ideas uh, and uh, and so uh, and of course less or more rich way but however um, it's also also uh, how we work still today um, 
my generation in Finland, we are not very, very, uh, we work still today quite much, quite often using only pencils and, and paper, and it is really good way to, to do the design before to start to, to operate with computers. Uh, kind of uh, shape drawing made by myself just uh, uh, during, uh, during uh, we, I think we made a uh, uh, building permit phase and uh, which uh, describes also the shape of the building, this very snake-like shape of, of, of the building. Uh, this, uh, the energy uh, question is uh, mm, technically uh, one uh, part of the design. Uh, in Finland, this is not very, uh, actually, let's say so, that uh, very often used uh, system in, uh, in Europe and in European countries, but uh, this is not the first, but the one of them, one of the first uh, buildings in, in, in Finland, however, were uh, having used uh, the facade uh, as a part of uh, uh, how to, uh, as, as a part of uh, uh, energy uh, solution of of the building. It's based on, technically, uh, on a kind of uh, uh, double skin facade, which means that there is uh, an empty space just uh, behind this uh, glass panel facade, and uh, uh, it's a part of, uh, of, of the ventilation and, uh, and, and cooling system, and uh, uh, the air is, uh, is, uh, is warm up uh, between this uh, quite narrow space and, uh, and used this way, and we it, it, it is used uh, for, for for cooling generally, uh, also of that building. Yeah, and uh, one uh, let's say part was of course to uh, create an artistic uh, message to the facade because uh, this is really uh, very let's say. Mm, strongly regulated laboratory building. It was said when it was uh, completed that this is, uh, this is, uh, this has been the most uh, demanding laboratory building. Uh, we have very, there are some, uh, some just laboratory rooms with very, very, very pure, pure air for instance. And, uh, and uh, it was a uh, hard, hard job to, to get the tight uh, structures enough to, to the building, but however, we created a kind of uh, pattern of uh, which comes from uh, from uh, from uh, it's a kind of atomic pattern or whatever. I actually I don't know what is the uh, silk screen painting, <laughs> what it is in 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 English. But however, it's it, it's it's a kind of uh, 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 kind of cell. How, however, it relates to the function of of that building. Uh, in Finland, uh, uh, we meet uh, often uh, buildings uh, made in concrete, but uh, just uh, to cast on, on, on situ and uh, to, uh, to, to make uh, a concrete building uh, on the building side, uh, it uh, does happen not very often, and we, we uh, really made a uh, lot of work for for these uh, stairs and, and bridges can be seen in this picture to create uh, uh, good quality uh, concrete. Uh, and uh, in this uh, sense, they, they works, work and, and this material works, works together. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it was uh, written in a, in a critic how, how interesting way we have used uh, just concrete because this very heavy concrete is, uh, is standing on uh, a light uh, uh, wooden floor, but, uh, but it, was, it can be done such a way too, in my opinion. Um, Finland is uh, well known of its uh, education system and uh, schools, and, uh, and uh, there are a quite a wide range of uh, new schools, primary schools or, or secondary schools uh, built in, in Finland. Uh, actually, there is uh, today uh, in the Museum of uh, the Finnish Architecture a very interesting exhibition with uh, focus on uh, uh, school buildings only. Um, 
and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a kind of uh, result of uh, how Finland, uh, the Ministry of uh, Education, try to uh, develop all the time uh, our systems generally. In I mean, how to teach. Uh, of our, how big are uh, students' groups, etc. And besides this, there has been quite interesting uh, uh, progress uh, uh, of uh, the architecture, how the architecture has developed during the last years also. And uh, typically this uh, small school building uh, is an example of that, uh, that uh, progress. Uh, result of uh, open competition, uh, which uh, aim was uh, to, to create just the, the plan, uh, how uh, what is the program, uh, uh, how to uh, divide the program, and how 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 to do the grouping of uh, uh, of students of uh, different ages, etc. Actually, um, it is located uh, in. Uh, in a park, in a kind of uh, park line uh, in, uh, in the city of Joensuu. Uh, you can see uh, also here city structure and the town plan is, is based on, on grid plan. And uh, this uh, green zone uh, actually divide, divides uh, the city into, into two and the building is, uh, is standing there in the middle of this green, green area which explains also uh, the basic shape of the building, which is uh, less or more axial, and the uh, building can be entered from different sides, from south, east, north, etc. And uh, every, every it's, it's, uh, it's divided in uh, the program itself in, uh, into uh, four uh, quite independent buildings uh, of, uh, of three story high buildings and then in the middle of that there are located all, all the common common facilities and the, the, uh, the kids they can uh, they can reach their own home areas and uh, and their own, own own buildings from independently directly from from uh, from from the yards and uh, and so so logistically it, it, it works very very clever way um, and here the material is, is, is copper. The main material is copper, uh, both in, in uh, I can say, of absolutely in, in exterior, but also partially in interiors. And then some fresh and, uh, uh, and let's say, yeah, fresh colors together with this uh, natural material copper creates quite, uh, quite interesting combination. Uh, yeah, here and uh, in Finland, uh, well, it's typical to finish architecture uh, and uh, uh, how to build in Finland is the fact that uh, we have really hard requirements of, uh, of of climate and it set many 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 other problems to us also. Uh, just ventilation, different technical equipment, uh, technology uh, installations, how to hide them, how to show them, etc., how to operate with technology. Uh, they, this, this has, and just uh, operating with uh, uh, the range of engineer and engineering teams is really integral part of, uh, of the design uh, of architecture today in Finland. It's uh, really uh, difficult to, to, to find solution how to how to use only very pure surfaces or or uh, for instance uh, 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 ceilings without uh, uh, ceilings. So it's uh, it's uh, it means that uh, we have to uh, build normally the building actually twice. We have to erect first the frame of the building plus then it is needed to. Uh, to erect another uh, additional layer and to uh, hide less or more everything that is quite uh, quite often seen seen technology in uh, our contemporary architecture and in this sense this UN uh, primary school is uh, also a good example of what you will meet in in Finland during your your, your visits Kotka museum center uh, 
uh, uh, is uh, uh, one of the first signs of in, in Finland. Uh, uh, now I have to say this, uh, let's say this or more forbidden word, wow architecture and, and feel wow effect because that, that is uh, behind this project in this sense that uh, uh, Kotka is uh, mm, uh, an old uh, city, uh, 150, well, 100 kilometers uh, uh, to east from Helsinki and located on the coastline of, uh, of Gulf of Finland. Uh, uh, an old uh, city of, of trade, of, uh, of uh, GPRs uh, and uh, harbor technology. And uh, today, uh, the city uh, should change radically many ways. And tourism is, of course, one of, of the ways what, uh, what they should uh, add radically. And what then the uh, city decided to uh, try to find a kind of uh, new building, a new uh, exhibition building or museum building, uh, like in, in, in Bilbao. It was quite uh, clearly said uh, also in, uh, in many, uh, many daily newspapers uh, in, at the beginning of, uh, of, of 2000 when they started to plan this, uh, this museum building. And uh, the fathers of the city, of course, visited Bilbao and, uh, and uh, they wanted to create a kind of, uh, a kind of, uh, uh, Finland Pilbaus effect here in, in, in Kotka. Uh, no, of course, this is uh, one side of, of the project, but however, uh, the Ministry of Culture and, uh, and some uh, and the museum uh, organization, uh, it was, uh, there was a kind of uh, steering committee above all of this, uh, when uh, and some politicians, they made final decision uh, of 04, 05, that uh, this uh, new uh, Mar maritime museum is to be built in Kotka, in this city. And uh, that, that was on the background of, uh, of, the, of the wholeness, what I will uh, present you now. Uh, uh, so um, what about the program, some uh, words about the program of the museum first. It's, it's quite wide uh, museum containing both uh, temporary exhibitions both, uh, and uh, uh, permanent exhibitions uh, focusing on, uh, uh, on, uh, on, on trade, on ports, et cetera. Its task is to tell actually the history of uh, of boats and, and a sea in, in Finland and in partially also the history of Baltic Sea. Uh, and uh, the site of that building is uh, uh, an old harbor area and uh, it's in active use actually today. Uh, on the opposite side of this, uh, this by there is, uh, uh, there is uh, Alvar Aalto's uh, uh, Junila uh, fabric area, which is very famous in the history of architecture. So now, nowadays, this building and Atos buildings have a good contact and a kind of dialogue between them. I hope they have nice discussions there. And uh, this final uh, shape of the building, which is uh, uh, it's really, let's say, crucial to understand uh, the content of uh, the architecture in, in, in this case, uh, the building itself is uh, over 300 meters long. Uh, together, uh, four stories high. Uh, there is uh, a kind of uh, allegora behind this uh, design to as well in the case of uh, the Finnish Forest Museum, uh, a kind of uh, shape of, uh, of a wave and uh, then just uh, uh, above all, there is also a part, part of, of, of foam, which is nowadays um, in our completely design uh, an auditorium. Uh, looking for, from here, uh, the building itself uh, works very actively also uh, in this sense that uh, uh, the roof area is, is a part of, uh, of, of the whole, it's a little bit like uh, in the case of uh, the Kaustinen Forecast Center, so the people can climb up 
on the, on the top of the building and they meet there uh, an outdoor auditorium and can then enjoy views to the city. And it is actually today in quite, quite uh, let's say, uh, active, active use. But uh, one very important task to us was really to activate the city and the whole area and to, to bring there a very strong new component, a kind of uh, middle point of uh, activities of the whole city. So I think in this sense, uh, 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 this uh, is, um, can be compared um, to uh, the building in Bilbao, although the architecture uh, is, uh, is individual and its own. Uh, but however, just uh, how to activate uh, with the help of a public building uh, uh, a city and uh, just uh, actually very important area, wide area, which is really in the neighborhood of, uh, mm, of the city of today. This will move uh, uh, activities strongly onto the area here. And uh, there are under progress and, and process uh, uh, today uh, uh, to, uh, to rebuild actually the whole area and there will be in the next 10, 15 years many other um, uh, facilities and activities for laser and, uh, and there is a, a small theater is under design for instance and, uh, and uh, facilities for, for sport, etc. Uh, hotel. Uh, all of them uh, will uh, be designed by some other uh, Finnish architectural companies, however. Uh, sometimes Sexon describes uh, best way the idea of uh, uh, the whole plan and uh, also in this uh, case this is uh, valid. The people can uh, enter actually the building uh, from, from two levels uh, as a core of the wholeness. There is, uh, uh, an exhibition uh, hall for for some permanent uh, exhibition objects. There are poets, famous poets and well-known poets. And then uh, this core area is surrounded by uh, some uh, other uh, exhibition, temporary exhibition halls. Uh, we were in charge to do the design for, for, for exhibitions, uh, which is uh, Quite, uh, quite interesting uh, thing because normally, uh, if you look at uh, uh, some special museums, uh, it means that uh, there is one one team is uh, the team of uh, an architect, and uh, then another team is uh, the team of uh, uh, exhibition designers, uh, which uh, means uh, normally big problems. Of course, uh, there are uh, really. Um, problematic requirements uh, in terms uh, how to uh, do and create uh, a modern exhibition. Uh, less or more in this case, all the exhibitions uh, are based on, uh, on, on the idea of, uh, or we are talking about so-called uh, object-orientated exhibition and uh, means that uh, the exhibitions are quite traditional uh, and uh, movable also. Uh, of course, this permanent exhibition will be there for a lo quite long time. Uh, here, two images from the main entrance, how the people uh, against, uh, again here uh, uh, meet, uh, uh, they, uh, they, they I, I don't say that they, they must climb up, but they have an, uh, an option, opportunity to, to use these stairs and uh, and, uh, and then uh, find uh, all the most uh, central uh, activities just uh, on the second floor level, ticketing and, and restaurant, etc. The interiors, of course, uh, are dominated or using of wooden panels. Uh, um, also, in this case, uh, do some uh, uh, safety matters. Uh, we uh, have used the wood, real wood, only in, uh, in the floors, but uh, mostly, not all of them, but mostly uh, the panels of, uh, of ceilings and, uh, and walls uh, are, are made in, uh, uh, in, in gypsum and there is quite, quite thin layer of 
of wood of oak, but but just partially. Uh, when when possible, we have we have of course used real real wood too. Uh, because uh, its location is and uh, uh, is is uh, so central and should be very central, and uh, this uh, building uh, is partially competing with uh, some uh, industrial buildings, just uh, on the opposite side of uh, of this this bay. Uh, we decided to to use, uh, let's say, uh, light and illuminate the building as as much as possible. I have to say that we were not uh, uh, fully satisfied on the final result. Uh, perhaps we have a, a little bit too, uh, uh, too bright lamp there now, but however, it fulfill quite, fulfills quite well our, our original intentions that uh, the building itself is standing there like uh, like like uh, like a lamp in a more dark uh, environment and, and a city shape and uh, I, it really I think uh, I have seen uh, visiting there that uh, it really attracts a lot of people in our scale in Finland there are about uh, there were in, during the last year there were if I remember over 100,000 uh, uh, visitors which is a big amount of uh, of people in in Finland uh, uh, we are this is uh, quite uh, interesting uh, small thing that uh, there are yes we have uh, five million millions inhabitants in Finland but we have 350 museum museums together museum organizations in Finland so it's it's uh, Finland is really uh, the country of, of museums um, if uh, uh, all the interiors are dominated by uh, by wood or wooden panels, uh, uh, exteriors and facades uh, 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 represent totally different uh, and uh, give totally different message actually. Uh, it's uh, museum, first of all I have to say that museum uh, is uh, a good, uh, um, an interesting building. Mm to design in this sense that uh, there are no windows because uh, daily light is uh, uh, a problem rather and a kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, obstacle uh, to create good uh, uh, good uh, uh, exhibitions and that's why there are only some very narrow stripes of windows in in these facades uh, uh, because there are some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, rooms for for stuff, etc., working rooms. But the facade is is covered using uh, uh, different uh, uh, aluminium uh, panel systems, uh, uh, and uh, it's a kind of uh, result. Final result is a kind of uh, poor man double skin facade. First of all, there is uh, a normal. Uh, wall structure with uh, insulations and uh, a part of that is uh, uh, a standard colored uh, uh, aluminium sheet with uh, eight or actually nine there are nine uh, standard color which uh, creates this uh, a kind of uh, illusion of uh, glittering sea and uh, of all uh, on that, there is the next layer made in uh, in aluminium lattices, system of aluminium lattices and, uh, and some glass panels and some of them are uh, silk screen printed too and uh, it works very interesting way in different uh, uh, light conditions when uh, when the day is um, a little bit more, it's, it's cloudy uh, or, or more, more gray, the whole building is more a little bit more gray when when uh, and uh, when sunshine it's 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 quite uh, quite actually quite blue green blue so it uh, uh, really reflects quite well with uh, with uh, uh, with light natural light which has been actually our our intention too and this uh, quite many layered many uh, stratification of facade 
it's, it's illusion, it's, uh, it's uh, something we really intended. The original design uh, was based in this case on using of, uh, of uh, real uh, glass walls, but uh, we met really uh, big problems because, because of, of daylight. Our user uh, uh, was uh, quite totally shocked, although they liked very much the design and the shape of the building and, and so, but uh, we changed quite radically our design then after, after the competition and, uh, and decided to, to, to find totally different uh, way to, to do the facade. And uh, it's, uh, I, I think it was a wise, wise uh, decision to do such a way. However, this, uh, 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 I don't know if this is a positive or negative thing, but uh, uh, I, 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 I saw just uh, in an article uh, in a magazine, in a magazine uh, of, uh, of uh, it was uh, of architecture in Finland, and there was an article that this museum is the first uh, so-called uh, wow building in Finland, but wow is wow. I, I, I think uh, good architecture can be wow architecture too. There is no contradiction, but uh, it cannot be uh, the only uh, aim or goal of, uh, of creating architecture. And it was said because uh, mm, there, there was a kind of uh, comparison between this building and, uh, and uh, the new just uh, completed uh, music hall, which uh, was, was built in, in Helsinki and uh, its, its architecture is, uh, is uh, a little bit more, 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 more standard or its, its uh, basic shape. Uh, Museum of the History of Polish Jews, uh, uh, the competition of this uh, project was held at the same time actually uh, when uh, uh, the competition of uh, the Maritime Museum and uh, or a couple of uh, months later, let's say so, um, the Maritime Museum was uh, was built uh, in, uh, yeah, it was completed in uh, 08, it means that uh, the process was uh, very, uh, very successful in this sense that partially we made the design uh, after uh, the main contractor was chosen already. So we collaborate with uh, 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 the construction company with uh, many subcontractors and uh, this was uh, perhaps and not perhaps it, it was actually uh, really first time in Finland to, uh, uh, to, to uh, carry out a public building using this, uh, these methods but, uh, but uh, we had good cooperation and uh, it uh, meant also that uh, uh, it, uh, ha everything has happened so, so, so fast. The history, Museum of the History of Polish Jews uh, will be finished till end of uh, uh, April of, uh, of 12, so in, in one year. After that is uh, the phase of uh, uh, the erection of uh, and mm, partially the planning of uh, all the exhibitions. But however, this has been a really long lasting process to us and project to us to uh, seven years. This is uh, actually now uh, is starting seven years. And uh, this means that I have traveled between Helsinki and, uh, and uh, uh, Warsaw for years and uh, will travel still at least one year, two years perhaps. Um, uh, what is the program of, uh, of this uh, uh, building? Uh, first of all, uh, um, although the name of, uh, of the building is the Museum, uh, the History of Polish Jews, this is not and will be not uh, the Museum of Holocaust. This is the biggest difference if you look at the program of, of this museum uh, in comparison to the museum in Berlin, for instance, which design is made uh, by uh, uh, 
by Daniel Liebesk in this great design. Uh, this museum will tell the whole history of, uh, of Jewish population in Europe, not only in, in, in Poland, but, uh, but in Europe generally, and, uh, and uh, effect to our culture. So it's, uh, it's rather we are talking about uh, new cultural building of, uh, of Poland instead, uh, for instance, Holocaust Museum. Also, Holocaust is uh, present in uh, the exhibition and a part of the exhi core exhibition, but uh, only, let's say, a minimum way. Uh, this uh, map uh, describes the situation uh, it's just at the beginning. Of, uh, no, it's, it's just uh, during, uh, during the ghetto, uh, Warsaw, Warsaw ghetto. Is, is known, uh, and the name at least for all of you, or us, and, uh, and uh, the museum and its, its site is just in the middle point of this old, old ghetto area. Uh, the competition uh, was uh, a kind of uh, two-faced international competition, and uh, uh, we were very, very lucky uh, and uh, received an invitation to the second uh, round, which meant that uh, uh, we were in the same competition with, uh, with Mr. Liebesk and uh, David Chipperfield and uh, many other stars. Uh, uh, we. Uh, were chosen uh, to this competition uh, 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 after, after, after it, there was a phase uh, to handle applications. There were actually over 150 applications. So in this sense, every 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 offices had to uh, uh, to prepare uh, first an application. And what you have done, uh, we have we, we have shown uh, well, our earlier museum buildings, etc. And uh, then we we had we, we received an an option to participate this uh, to this second phase of the competition. Uh, so uh, the competition area can be seen here in in this uh, uh, picture, which name is actually Willy Brandt Park today. The whole area is uh, surrounded by uh, post-war. Uh, housing blocks on the back uh, around there is uh, the new city of uh, of Warsaw with uh, skyscrapers etc. But this uh, there is only uh, let's say one kilometers distance to the old city of, of Warsaw. Warsaw's uh, and and Poland's history is of many it's it's complicated. Uh, uh, Warsaw itself has been very. Uh, big, uh, lovely, beautiful uh, uh, European city, and it was said that it, it has been a kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, Paris uh, of uh, Northern uh, Europe. Uh, after war, it looks like this. And uh, there is a quite nice series of uh, the central square of uh, the old town to central market square, actually. 100 years ago, and after the Second World War, and today, and uh, which means actually this is another story a little bit, but uh, some words about that also. The whole whole war, so and especially and exactly the city, the old part of Warsaw is uh, a big replica, one big replica because it is rebuilt actually. It is. Uh, uh, built according uh, to old photographs, according to, uh, uh, to the original uh, documentation uh, found it from old archives, etc. Et and it, is, uh, it was said that uh, uh, it has today uh, uh, its uh, originality more than before the war, because uh, all of them, all the buildings have been, uh, been built uh, according to the original design. However, uh, the city, uh, old town, is uh, on the list of, uh, of, of UNESCO today, and, uh, and uh, it's uh, perhaps the biggest a kind of replica of, of architecture in the world. And exactly this 
is the area where we are now working, where we started to work. Uh, the whole city was totally destroyed, at least not the whole city, but parts of the city. Uh, one and only actually Christian church, which is still existing, or some ruins of that. Our museum is cannot be seen exactly this, but it's it's just uh, just uh, uh, on the next uh, uh, next quarters part of them. Um, the competition uh, when uh, uh, was organized uh, quite uh, quite uh, let's say sharply in this sense that uh, uh, we uh, competitors uh, got quite. Uh, uh, strong regulations. For instance, the height of the building was uh, was uh, limited uh, till 20 or 21 meters or something. And we all, we uh, uh, competitors, we had to uh, show our, us uh, perspective drawings from uh, from this this level, as we can see here. So uh, the jury uh, can. And notice uh, immediately if uh, if uh, the building is higher or or or, or, or lower or whatever. But it was, and the reason for that was that uh, uh, that uh, this uh, place was uh, criticized by the people who are living in the neighborhood, and that's why uh, the city authorities and the competition jury made the decision to to give quite quite clear limit for the building itself. Also, the footprint of the building was limited. It uh, uh, was something like 5,000 uh, square meters or whatever. And as uh, Finnish architects, of course, because uh, our history um, uh, based on competitions, less or more, we were actually, myself and my partner, for instance, we won our competitions when we were under, under under 30 of age, and uh, it's uh, it's quite uh, during my younghood was uh, it was quite uh, normal that uh, uh, you got your first commission through the competition when you was perhaps 25 or 26 or 7. That explains also why 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 we have quite uh, uh, we have uh, still today a lot of offices uh, lead by by young architects. However. This history explains that we tried, we, we, we follow as, as much as possible regulations and the competition brief itself. And when we made very first tests of this, uh, uh, this program, we, we, we noticed that uh, one and only way to do the whole project is to show one, one clear box. That how to create then the architecture, and this came a little bit later, uh, and can be seen now in this fixture. We uh, we created a kind of totally different uh, space inside this building, a kind of uh, uh, image uh, of uh, empty uh, uh, empty river or something. And uh, the title of our, our competition entry was. Uh, uh, Red Sea, and uh, it was. Uh, we tried to think that what, how, how to, how to find something special which uh, relates somehow to uh, the Old Testament, and it was not very difficult to find this uh, this this old old uh, story and uh, or legend of Moses, and uh, then everything was actually. Our entry was 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 finished when we found this this combination. Uh, Kenneth Frampton was uh, uh, the member of the jury too, and he he wrote uh, quite uh, quite nicely as or, or said to um, to Maria in uh, in um, uh, in a press conference that uh, the jury was weighted uh, how many uh, how uh, both boxes. And, uh, and 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 roses and the roses perhaps meant uh, something like uh, what is uh, what is uh, in in Bilbao for instance, etc. And uh, of course because there were architects like uh, like um, uh, David Chipperfield uh, among the competitors, but they were lucky and they they got both the cake 
or rows and the box, both and. And so, and uh, it, uh, okay, it's uh, the entry created big enthusiasm uh, among uh, the users and uh, because there were in the jury also representatives of, uh, of the user. Um, the investor of uh, this project is uh, the city of Warsaw and the Ministry of Culture. The user is the association of uh, uh, the history of, uh, of uh, the Museum of the History of Polish Jews, which means that it is a kind of a TPP process, so private-public public partnership, uh, means that uh, um, mm, public money comes from US, for instance, from Israel, from UK, from many other uh, countries, from Europe, uh, the building itself uh, is to be built by the budget of the government and the city and uh, the core exhibition which uh, uh, cost is uh, uh, today about uh, uh, 25 million uh, euros, so about 30, 35 million millions, uh, dollars. It's uh, the biggest, it will, it will be the biggest uh, let's say, uh, exhibition in, in Europe built uh, during the last decades. And, uh, and when we talk about uh, uh, so-called special museums. Uh, this uh, project uh, is uh, separated in this sense that we are in charge uh, of the museum building only, our, our team. And uh, then there is another company, uh, even communication from London, which is uh, in charge to do everything uh, uh, and to do uh, the whole, uh, all, all the design and, and planning of uh, the core exhibition, which uh, tells then the history of, uh, of, of Polish, Polish Jewish and European, European Jewish. Uh, in Finnish architecture, I think, and in Scandinavia, it perhaps not, not no more today because there are new stars like, uh, like we have had a good uh, conversation with, uh, with our team here also. Uh, uh, what, what is uh, uh, the conceptual uh, concept and, and design? What is uh, the difference between concept and design? And uh, during this pro um, project I have I have think about this this uh, question very very often I think a quite typical feature in Finnish architecture is that we uh, we campaign uh, the design phase and, uh, uh, and the phase uh, to create the concept we are we are working together side by side uh, thinking uh, details and, uh, and 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 shapes of the shape of the building but uh, but also uh, the logistical order or uh, uh, how the people uh, enter the building and uh, many, uh, many, many other issues of, uh, of circulation, et cetera. What is the task of the building in, in the city shape? But in this case, uh, uh, afterwards, I can see that the first sketches made, made by myself here, uh, actually, I, I, I tried to, to find a kind of uh, concept first. Uh, namely, there was, uh, uh, there was an is existing already um, a kind of memorial plaza. So there is uh, uh, a statue of, uh, uh, of, uh, of Ghetto today. And uh, the museum building, the competition area, was uh, just uh, uh, actually a part of this, this plaza. Uh, I found quite uh, early uh, the idea to divide the program into two, so that uh, uh, on this side there are all the, uh, the spaces of visitors and here administrational spaces and etc. And then uh, in the middle of them there is a kind of uh, 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 so-called space of astonishment, <laughs> something very special, and the main main lobby, and then uh, the core exhibition. Uh, I knew, according to my earlier experience, how demanding task is to do the design of uh, a museum building because the users start to fulfill all the facilities, also also lobby areas, 
uh, by exhibition objects, we decided to put uh, the uh, uh, core exhibition under the ground level. And, and that, was, that was actually the very afterwards, uh, I can say, uh, very wise decision. Um, but not yet in this picture, there cannot be seen the idea of this final, uh, final shape of this, uh, this space, this sloppy space, but uh, it was existing already now. Yeah, here is now the Red, Red Sea and, uh, and, uh, and, and Moses and, and uh, the empty river. Or you, uh, I have seen how important this kind of uh, 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 issue is in, in, in architecture because uh, every building should tell something. There should be always stories, a so kind of, uh, uh, let's say, kick-off story, which was uh, the start for the further design, a kind of uh, inspiration. Of course, we, as architects, we understand that we can, uh, architect can never be uh, and, and be uh, in the building all the time explaining that uh, what, what this or those uh, uh, form or shape describes. Uh, it's always a space like this, an abstract space, but however, behind uh, all the design, if there is a kind of, uh, of, of story, it helps a lot and it helps the whole process and everything and just uh, how to operate with the user, etc. It's, uh, it's something that people, people are waiting stories, especially in, in the case like, like the building of these. And here it is, uh, it's not the update uh, plan, but however it tells uh, quite well uh, the situation generally. Uh, the existing plaza on the ha right hand side, the monument in the middle of that, and then uh, the building itself. Uh, there was also uh, the headquarter of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, the ghetto um, officers, Nazi officers, was, was actually during the war located exactly uh, uh, the facade of that building was uh, exactly on, on the line of, of this line. And the main entrance to this office was, uh, was uh, exactly from here. And now today, on the opposite side of that door is located the big monument and our uh, you know, entrance to our building will be a little bit similar way now here. And the section which describes the idea of, of the building and runs the bridge again while walking. You can have a view to the uh, uh, exhibition area, the main main lobby area, stairs, and finally you will fi find that then uh, the facility of uh, or space of uh, the core exhibition there in the basement. Uh, but the building houses many other activities, uh, auditoriums, uh, classrooms, and et cetera. It's not needed to give the presentation of them, but, uh, but it will be a really active building uh, in, in, uh, in uh, the city shape, in the city structure generally. What was also interesting in this competition was that uh, uh, normally um, the building comes first. And uh, then after that comes uh, the exhibition. Now in this case, uh, layout of uh, the core exhibition was uh, made first. And it was one of the starting points uh, of uh, the competitions. We all, the competitor, we had to consider uh, the general plan of uh, this uh, exhibition and uh, also the logistical order, uh, the circulation of the exhibition. Um, as, uh, mm, yeah, in, in this case, the exhibition itself is, uh, it's not needed to, to tell more about that, but only a few words uh, uh, based on uh, so-called, uh, based on idea of narrative experience or narrative museum, which means that uh, all the exhibitions uh, will be in uh, uh, according to uh, according to uh, scenographical idea or to so 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 the space of uh, uh, this gallery exhibition gallery is is nothing architecturally so it will be uh, 
a kind of uh, uh, a space like uh, like uh, uh, the space of a theater uh, stage or, or, or whatever. Uh, there will be, for instance, a replica of uh, an old synagogue, or or uh, or uh, there will be built uh, um, a, a part partially uh, a street, which uh, has been destroyed there in the neighborhood with cafeterias and uh, and some small shops, etc. So that is uh, that is the idea of the competition of of uh, the exhibition, and that's why we really we decided to, to create another space which is the main lobby, a pure experience of architecture without any objects of uh, exhibition. That is, uh, this explains, it's a kind of uh, hang around space for the visitors first and also because it is uh, dominated by uh, the curved wall, it's, it's the architecture actually and uh, the shape of, of them. Acoustically, it will be quite problematic. I hope that uh, it's, it's less or more empty of people, that the people go, try to go, go from away from there. It's, it's really pure, pure space in this sense also. So, uh, and uh, just at the beginning, of course, because I have, uh, I, I participate in, in, uh, in promotions, different events uh, to promote the project itself, uh, uh, the people asked me very often uh, what is the idea idea of this uh, uh, this space uh, idea of good uh, forms etc it's 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 kind of uh, uh, kind of metaf metaphorical allegoric allegorical uh, 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 story story of uh, of different uh, universal phenomena uh, time when uh, uh, to start we started to study more exactly the space this one here of course it's a, it, it has been changed not radically but uh, a little bit all over the process itself and uh, I know that uh, Marcus has uh, told Marcus Vikar who has uh, been my 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 good partner in 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 uh, uh, this in the this uh, making the design of this uh, space and uh, and he has uh, actually uh, developed uh, technically this computer technology and uh, you are I think I'm enjoying now partially that's why his skills also because I, I, I noticed it actually yesterday that I understood first time some some small important issues of the methods you have used in in, in these walls also it's but however uh, these images are are from a very early uh, phase uh, when we started to do the design after after the competition and uh, some uh, examples how to, to approach uh, uh, free form uh, uh, structures and, uh, and free forms generally. Uh, we made uh, some, uh, uh, some tests, uh, some uh, uh, analysis also how, how to erect the, uh, the wall itself, uh, either to use uh, uh, some kind of panel system to, to use very light materials or perhaps to use a little bit more, more stronger materials. Uh, these uh, are made in, uh, in, in, in Holland, but perhaps uh, they, uh, of course, based partially on the technology used uh, in some uh, works uh, by Zaha Hadid, for instance. We fork it actually, and we we uh, I was uh, not uh, fully convinced on uh, on this technology because it's it's really it's really many ways demanding. If uh, if uh, this uh, one piece uh, will be broken, how to change it, it etc., and also how how this structure move. This was uh, another very demanding. Uh, challenge uh, uh, for technology like like this. So the final uh, result will be something like this. Uh, uh, technically, it uh, based on using both uh, steel structure and uh, concrete technology. 
So there are actually two layers, or actually three layers. One layer is a layer of, of, of uh, steel, beam steel staves and uh, uh, steel materials generally. And then uh, uh, this whole system is, uh, there is another layer which is made in, 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 in shot, shot concrete. These uh, renderings uh, show actually quite very well the image of uh, what is uh, going on there now and what we are, uh, what we are striving to. Uh, perhaps uh, also in this case, uh, how to um, take care of uh, installations, uh, technical equipments. Uh, Poland is not very easy country to cooperate. It's uh, in this sense that uh, they have quite uh, old regulations, uh, uh, everything is regulated uh, less or more. For instance, we met really uh, big problems, how to hang, for instance, uh, a kind of uh, uh, very modern lamp, and it was uh, actually a kind of mm, uh, installation truss which uh, should uh, hang there in, in the lobby, but uh, we didn't found uh, solution for, for, for the detail, how to hang it actually, because uh, we, uh, we, there are uh, fire regulations and uh, that's why it was less or more impossible to use, but however, uh, yeah. And the final tone, we strive to find uh, really close this, this tone, uh, what we have shown in our uh, uh, our uh, tender documentation, uh, it's, uh, it's a concrete pad, uh, uh, but uh, uh, there are of course some particles of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, tone of, uh, of to create this limestone color and uh, now the final first mock-ups and tests made uh, just uh, during the last year has shown us and guarantees me at least that uh, this, this will work and this, this color will work also quite well. And because it's based on, uh, on, uh, uh, on the work made uh, on the situ uh, and this is uh, the final surface is made by, by hands after, after spraying, uh, its uh, effect is uh, more close to uh, uh, to a plastered surface than, uh, uh, than, uh, than uh, no, let's say, traditional uh, concrete surface. Uh, facades were, of course, important part of, of the building like this, because also in this case, our, we uh, strive to create a kind of uh, lamp in uh, uh, artistical component uh, in the city shape. The original design was based on using of glass panels. It was criticized uh, especially by, by Kenneth. Kenneth actually wrote me once and said that please try to find some other solution for the facade, don't use uh, so much, uh, uh, much glass. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Ken is not available today. I could tell him that uh, uh, I have uh, uh, made a kind of, uh, of um, uh, compromise because uh, the facade is made uh, partially uh, in, in using copper and using uh, uh, um, glass panels. So in, uh, yeah, some ideas, one was to use uh, a broken glass because it has uh, a special uh, role in the history uh, of, uh, of uh, Polish Jews uh, just uh, before the war and, and also generally. And now here there are some tests, uh, some mock-ups uh, where we have shown uh, the final, final, final uh, details for, uh, for the facade. So it's based on a kind of idea of, uh, of chick chuck So uh, from here, the panel, panel, glass panel has uh, the ma major role and looking from here, we can see the copper net and this perforate uh, copper and just uh, 
you have uh, uh, you have a feeling of this uh, 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 multi-layered facade, also uh, a kind of uh, uh, filigrane uh, facade, uh, and of course there will be also then a system uh, of, of, of lumination. Some fixtures. Uh, from uh, the building site uh, during their last year, and uh, some of them are have been taken quite recently. Also, uh, shape is uh, is under constructing here, and uh, what is important here is uh, to yeah I forget to nominate is that uh, uh, this uh, uh, wall is not uh, only a, a kind of a mask or which. Uh, Mm, hangs from uh, the frame of a building, it's uh, actually a part of structural system uh, bearing, for instance, uh, uh, concrete slabs and uh, partially the whole uh, wall, wall system. And that, that's why this, uh, the design uh, has been so, so demanding task to, to create a real bearing wall. Yeah, here, and uh, then uh, uh, one another issue was also that uh, uh, the walls uh, they uh, uh, are uh, just uh, uh, the borderline of uh, uh, two uh, fire fire division, fire department, fire division division. So so which this meant that uh, uh, we decided and found this final solution using of uh, hot steel and, uh, and, and concrete. And together this, uh, this uh, combination creates a structural uh, system of, of the wall. Here are some spaces. Okay, and uh, okay, there is uh, some parts uh, are made in pure, pure concrete too, but uh, this uh, uh, kind of use of material uh, has a minor role in uh, in, in the architecture. Finally, I am ended my 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 speech uh, from this picture. It's, it's nice to come to the, uh, the to this one. Uh, the uh, uh, the Finnish Embassy building in Tokyo, uh, uh, and uh, is to plant uh, or uh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah it's planned to be built during the next five years. I don't have more 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 exact uh, schedule now, but uh, I will have uh, one meeting now during the next uh, September with uh, some authorities and uh, representatives of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Finland and uh, with an international uh, investor company. There is uh, there is uh, in a very valuable uh, area of Tokyo, uh, Finland's embassy already now and uh, Finland the government owns this plot of course uh, but uh, Finland uh, does need more than uh, let's say 5,000 square meters of space but uh, it is possible to build close to 20,000 square meters this means that the uh, uh, government uh, is uh, starting a totally new way to, to, to carry out the embassy building, actually selling the whole property to an in international investor and uh, a construction company, which means that uh, in the future, probably, we have the commitment and the contrast with an in in international investor and construction company and uh, uh, Finland and Finnish, uh, the, the ministry is uh, as a role of, of use uh, rather in this, this process then. So in this sense, uh, it will be quite exciting process, I hope so at least. Uh, we all know the in the history of architecture uh, connections between uh, Western and Eastern architecture, uh, Japan architecture, its traditional architecture uh, has influenced it strongly to the architecture in Europe, in, in US too, and, and also from, from US, from Europe. Uh, architecture has been transported to Japan, so it's an interesting uh, own story. 
uh, in Finland, uh, uh, late 60s, early 70s were uh, erected very interesting, some very er interesting buildings which uh, architecture really relates to, uh, to Japan's architecture and especially to Japan, uh, Japan's uh, 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 traditional architecture. Erki Kairamo made, uh, who was really important person in our modern architecture during uh, 70s, uh, 80s still. Uh, he was the designer of uh, this uh, row house building. Uh, in our case, we strive to do a little bit same in this sense that uh, uh, we have used also very mm, modulated system uh, and also uh, the idea is to use wooden frame in this building. It will be very demanding stuff, I know it, but uh, we have uh, done some uh, studies with uh, our Japan's partners already now and there are no uh, fundamental obstacles to, uh, to erect uh, this building using, using wood as a frame material, as a structural material. And very wide, very big uh, uh, windows and, and glass seats, uh, and so creating uh, 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 an illusion of, uh, uh, let's say, opaque glass uh, space or, or something. Uh, I think uh, uh, this will, and uh, we uh, wrote in uh, the description of uh, the competition entry, uh, how hopefully this uh, ideology could work together with uh, both uh, the tradition of uh, Japan's architecture and the architecture made in, in, in Finland. And uh, that was uh, actually the key issue wh why we want this interesting competition to. Uh, there will be also uh, uh, a kind of uh, a small uh, gallery of, uh, of exhibition, a kind of uh, multifunctional space, open space, and uh, with uh, Swiss very well to, uh, and that adapts very, adapts very well to our architectural idea to, to show uh, the whole, whole system. And uh, hopefully in, uh, in, in Japan it would be a little bit easier to, uh, to main, maintain a really good quality of uh, construction work and, uh, and uh, perhaps, and I know already now that uh, it is a little bit easier to, to, to manage uh, uh, every technical detail and, uh, and uh, problems and questions of, uh, of installations. Let's see what will happen. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attention. My, my lecture is ended. So it's uh, 30, 30 past eight, as said in, in the poster. I think Marcus had educated you already <laughs> and, and, and told a lot of uh, uh, interesting issues of uh, of the museum building and especially how we have operated with with the wall structure itself and Rhino system, yes. Okay, thank you. Okei, onko tämä tässä nyt tuolta, niin täällä, jääkö tämä tuolta, eikö tämä Markus tämä tekemässä? Joo.